the radiant city of Patara, Lycia, now part of modern Turkey, a saint was born who would become the light of hope and generosity. Around 280 AD, in the flourishing Roman Empire, Saint Nicholas began his earthly journey. This child was born to Theophanes and Nonna, pious and devoted Christian parents who cherished their son as a gift from God. From the very beginning, Saint Nicholas's life was marked by signs of divine favor and a deep-rooted connection to his faith, setting the stage for a journey that would see him venerated as one of the most beloved saints in Christian history. Saint Nicholas, the Wonder Worker. The day of Saint Nicholas's baptism arrived. The church was adorned with icons that seemed to gaze knowingly at the infant. Theophanes and Nonna, with hearts brimming with gratitude, presented their son to the baptismal font, a symbol of new life and spiritual birth. As the priest began the sacred rite, a miracle unfolded. The infant Nicholas, upon touching the holy waters, stood up for three full hours, supporting himself miraculously as if held by unseen hands. This extraordinary event left all who were present in awe. It was a clear sign of the Holy Trinity's presence, a divine indication of the special role Saint Nicholas was to play in the tapestry of faith. The news of this miraculous baptism spread like a gentle breeze through Patara. Theophanes and Nonna, recognizing the hand of God in their son's life, nurtured his spiritual growth with fervor. They instilled in him the teachings of the scriptures and the traditions of their faith. As Saint Nicholas grew, so did his understanding and devotion. He observed the fasts with a discipline far beyond his years, also on Wednesdays and Fridays, days dedicated to prayer and penance in the Orthodox tradition. His refusal of his mother's milk on these sacred days as an infant was a testament to his extraordinary commitment to faith and his incredible destiny. Theophanes and Nonna watched with humble hearts as their son became a vessel of God's work, his life already a hymn of prayer and fasting. The baptism of Saint Nicholas was the beginning of a journey marked by miracles and sanctity. It became a tale told and retold in Patara, a story of a child touched by God. Young Nicholas's life was touched by an unexpected shadow. A grievous epidemic swept through the city, sparing neither rich nor poor, young nor old. Amidst this tide of sorrow, Nicholas faced a heart-wrenching loss. His beloved parents, Theophanes and Nonna, fell victim to the merciless illness. The loss of his parents plunged Nicholas into the depths of grief. But in these darkest moments, the seeds of his faith, empathy and kindness, carefully nurtured by his parents, began to take deeper root. Nicholas found solace in the teachings of the church the same teachings his parents had lovingly instilled in him. The young boy from Patara, who faced such profound loss, grew into a man of unwavering faith and boundless love. This chapter of his life, marked by personal tragedy, laid the foundation for the saint he was to become. At the same time, in the ancient city of Patara, there lived a man named Eustathius. Once wealthy, Fate had turned its back on him, leaving his coffers empty and his spirit broken. The weight of poverty bore heavily upon his shoulders, for he had three daughters of marrying age and no dowry to offer for their future. As desperation crept into Eustathius's heart, he faced an agonizing decision, one that would haunt any loving father. To save his family from starvation, he contemplated a path that pierced his soul, sending his eldest daughter into a life of prostitution, far from the innocence of her youth. Word of this sorrowful plight reached the ears of Saint Nicholas. Under the cover of night, driven by a profound sense of duty and kindness, Saint Nicholas set out to alter the course 
of Eustathius's despair. Approaching Eustathius's humble abode, Saint Nicholas saw no lights, no signs of life, but the heavy weight of sorrow hung in the air. He clutched a small sack filled with gold, a fortune that could change the fate of the desperate family within. With a prayer, he tossed the sack through an open window where it landed silently. The next morning, Eustathius discovered the sack, his eyes widening in disbelief. Tears of joy and relief streamed down his face as he held the unexpected treasure. His daughter's innocence would be preserved, her future once bleak now held promise. Saint Nicholas, from a distance, watched as hope was rekindled in the heart of Eustathius. However, his task was not yet complete. Saint Nicholas knew that Eustathius had two more daughters, each facing the same grim fate. Over the next two nights, he repeated his secret act of kindness, each time delivering another sack of gold. By the third morning, Eustathius, overwhelmed by this mysterious benefactor's generosity, kept vigil. As Saint Nicholas approached to deliver the final gift, Eustathius caught a glimpse of the young Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas begged him humbly to keep the secret, to give glory not to him, but to God who had moved his heart to act. Eustathius honored Saint Nicholas's wish, spreading the tale of an unknown guardian angel. The secret generosity of Saint Nicholas became the stuff of legend, a testament to his profound humility and boundless love. He continued his life, dedicating himself to acts of kindness, always preferring anonymity, echoing the divine love that had touched his soul. Then Saint Nicholas felt a divine call stirring in his heart. It was a call to embark on a sacred pilgrimage to the Holy Land to walk in the footsteps of Christ. With a spirit ablaze with faith, Saint Nicholas set sail from the bustling docks of Myra, joining a ship bound for distant, sacred shores. As the ship journeyed across the vast expanse of the Mediterranean, Saint Nicholas spent his days and nights in fervent prayer, his heart anchored in devotion. The sailors, accustomed to the caprices of the sea, noticed the profound peace that seemed to follow this man of God. Their journey, however, was soon challenged. Dark clouds gathered, unleashing a ferocious storm upon them. Towering waves and howling winds threatened to engulf the ship, casting a shadow of dread upon the crew. In this hour of peril, Saint Nicholas, undaunted, stood firm in prayer. He envisioned the imminent danger, a revelation granted to him through his unwavering faith. Stepping onto the deck amidst the tempest, Saint Nicholas raised his voice in a prayer of deliverance. O Lord, calm the seas and guide us safely through this storm, he implored. And as if in answer, the storm began to subside. The violent sea grew calm and the winds dwindled to a gentle breeze. The sailors, astonished by this miraculous turn, fell to their knees, recognizing the divine intervention through Saint Nicholas. The remainder of their voyage was marked by a serene reverence, with the crew deeply touched by the miracle they had witnessed. Upon reaching the Holy Land, Saint Nicholas traversed the sacred paths of Jerusalem with a heart overflowing with reverence. He visited the holy sites, each step deepening his connection to the divine. In the hallowed grounds of Golgotha, Saint Nicholas experienced profound spiritual revelations, further strengthening his resolve to live a life in service to God and humanity. Saint Nicholas's return from the Holy Land marked a pivotal chapter in his life. He was not yet a bishop, but his experiences during the pilgrimage had irrevocably shaped his spiritual journey. He carried with him an unshakable faith and a heart ready to serve, qualities that would later lead to his consecration as the Bishop of Mira, where he would become renowned for his compassion, generosity, and miraculous works. As years passed, Saint Nicholas, 
now the revered Bishop of Myra, continued to serve with unwavering faith and boundless love. In the fullness of his years, Saint Nicholas peacefully passed from this world, leaving behind a legacy that transcended the boundaries of Myra. Centuries later, in recognition of his saintly life and the miracles attributed to him, the relics of Saint Nicholas were moved to the city of Bari in Italy. In Bari, Italy, the relics of Saint Nicholas rest in the Basilica di San Nicola. Today, this church remains a significant site where people from around the world visit to honor his memory. Each year on December 6th, Saint Nicholas Day is celebrated especially in Europe, where it is a cherished tradition. On the eve of this day, children place their stockings or boots by the fireplace or the front door, eagerly anticipating gifts. This custom, inspired by St. Nicholas's secret acts of generosity, reflects the spirit of giving and kindness that he embodied. Homes and streets are filled with joy and the warmth of community as people come together to honor the legacy of a saint who spent his life serving others and spreading hope. In this way, the memory of Saint Nicholas, the protector and wonder worker, lives on, not just in the hallowed halls of churches, but in the hearts of the faithful, celebrating his life and teachings through acts of kindness and the joy of giving.